Good afternoon, my fellow freedom fighters, knights of freedom, sons and daughters of liberty. Welcome to another segment of walking on the Ryerson Station State Park Warpath. Did you ever feel like you were lost in the woods in life? <laughs> just, I just wanted to do this because it's fun. <laughs> I like to have fun. I don't like being serious and, and all this freedom fighting for 10 years. Yes, my dear fellow patriots of the world and knights of freedom, like I said, I have, as you know, for the last five and a half years, and by the, oh, by the way, after today's great 10 mile march, I'm going to be at 8,173 miles in five and a half years of marching. Patriotism, freedom, honor. I, uh, when 9 11 happened, like everybody in the world, I was in shock. The greatest country in the history of the world, where freedom, freedom of the world was founded here by the founding fathers of America, was attacked for the first time since, well, Pearl Harbor but on the main continent since the war of 1812. It was terrible and I was angry. But like a caged lion, as you guys know my passion from earlier videos. If you're just new to me, go back and watch my Ron Paul main contender video. It's a, a great, You'll see the passion of the, I call myself a Johnny Appleseed for patriotism, uh, an pa a inspirational patriotic thought leader. I, uh, I take a lot of pride in this five and a half years of marching on the roads and highways and byways, trails and paths for freedom. Every, and, I, and it's an honor, trail of honor. Um, every two miles I walk is to honor a soldier that has been lost in this war. Well, the name of this video, as always, the champion of truth, came up with the name of it, it's Alex Jones, and when you find my video, go to the bottom of the link there, and that's part two. Like in the days of old, when, when television was was good and like shows like the night gallery and the twilight zone and in the 80s they had that show the hitchhiker some someone introduced you to the show and then after the commercial break you went to watch the rest of the show well alex jones came up with this title and uh he uh he, he has he, as always he has a great guest and uh the name of the the name of it is called the top, the top Illuminati dynasties who run the New World Order, and his, and his guest is Fritz Springmeier, and he, I guess he has 19 books about these elite pigs that run the world, and uh, they think of themselves as God, and uh, like I said, back back on 9-11, my dear fellow freedom fighters, I actually believed the lie. But, like I said, <laughs> go back and watch a couple of my other videos and, uh, that are recently uploaded. And feel the anger <laughs> of how easy it is to find. It, it, only it took me two days of total research to see that 9-11 was a false flag event and they lied. It was a lie. So how can a great patriot who's marching for the soldiers tell the truth? And it, I was stuck. For years I was stuck. And it made me angry. All I could talk about is, you know, just patriotism and that's 
about it. I couldn't talk about the truth, but the truth is being patriotic. The truth is freedom. And it was driving me mad. And I remember the day like it was just yesterday. I was talking to my friend. Uh, she lives in England. And uh, she works in a castle. This is the Castle Freedom here in America. I call it the Castle Freedom. She works in a medieval castle. <laughs> but anyways, I'm like, how am I going to tell people the truth? I, I'm, it's driving me. I can't hold the truth in anymore. And the soldiers are going to be mad. And I don't care anymore. i got to tell people the truth because it's, it was obvious that the freedom of speech is... You know, they're, they're going to take it away from us. There's no way around it, man. They, like they're trying to take our guns away, you know. I mean, this is a revolution. And uh, the last stand for freedom is here in America. And, and uh, but anyways, it, Obama solved my problem. Like two days later, he said he killed bin Laden. And I knew bin Laden was dead from my research so like I said it's just sad that there are Patriots uh, we need you guys and you guys are I mean I'm a hard-working American trust me I work all the time man I'm getting sick of people saying get a job oh I like your job this is extra time man it takes me three and a half hours to four hours Sometimes four and a half hours because I reshoot uh, now that I'm filming. It takes me a long time to walk 10 miles, man. And you divide that into 8,173 miles. That's how many hours I put into this Freedom Project just on the road. Not now, count all the time you try to put a blog together like I put a blog together like you're going to go check out after you're done listening to this. You try to put a blog together. It takes me hours to put pictures. I call it the Ben Franklin printing press. You put pictures and your ideas and and words to, to videos. It's unbelievable. It's a great educational tool. And I gotta tell people who are trying to wake people up to the truth. Just use my just use my story. I mean, no one can ever question my patriotism and how much I love this country and how much I love freedom, how much I love liberty. That's all I live for. It runs through my veins, man. And like I said, it's going to be very, very sad if tyranny wins. If these bastards, if these elite pigs who rule the world win, it's going to be your fault. All you patriots out there who took the word and were lazy, you take the word of talk radio. People like Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh. If you can't see... The, uh, over almost 80% of our soldiers back Ron Paul. We are their voice. They want Ron Paul to be the president. They have no voice because they follow orders. So they're fighting for these elite pigs to start World War III all around the world. Our troops are being used. I'm tired of our troops being sitting ducks for fucking Iran in that strait of whatever, Hormuz. They're sending fucking aircraft carrier through there to be blown up on purpose, man. I'm sick of it. We are the voice of our soldiers. Ron Paul is who they want to be the president of the United States. For the first time in 10 years, we have a chance to be united together. The world is awake, waiting for patriots like you, blind freaking sheep, following Sean Hannity, Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, over the cliff. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, Michael Savage, thanks to Donald Trump, the devil, has him convinced that Ryan Powell is unelectable. Bullshit. You're unelectable, Donald Trump. You're a pig. You work for the, you, you feed off the New World Order, you freaking pig. All right, that's it. Go check out my blog, pass my videos to your friends, and you got to see the passion of my, that I was trying to explain to you in the beginning of the video. I'm an angry patriot, man. I'm not, I'm not 